Scientists have just made a mind-blowing discovery that is changing what we thought we knew about black holes. Imagine a cosmic monster so powerful that it devours an entire sun every single day. That's right, this newly found supermassive black hole is growing faster than any we've ever seen before. So what makes this black hole so unique? How did it grow to this unimaginable size? Let's dive into one of the most astonishing discoveries of modern astronomy. First, let's talk about just how huge this black hole really is. Astronomers in Australia have identified this monster inside a quasar called J0594351, located 12 billion light years away. That means we are seeing it as it was when the universe was still young, only about 2 billion years old. The shocking part? This black hole is estimated to have a mass of 17 billion times that of the Sun. Let's put that into perspective. If you were to take every single star in the Milky Way galaxy and squeeze them together into a single point, you would still not reach the size of this black hole. But what truly makes it terrifying is its insatiable hunger. While most black holes take millions or even billions of years to grow, this one is consuming the equivalent of an entire sun every 24 hours. That's faster than anything astronomers have ever seen before. Black holes aren't supposed to grow this fast. At least, that's what we thought. Normally, a feeding black hole is limited by something called the Eddington limit, a point where the intense radiation from infalling material pushes away additional matter, effectively capping the black hole's growth. But J0594351 is somehow devouring material over 500 times the Eddington limit. This completely defies our current understanding of black hole physics. Scientists are now scrambling to figure out how this is possible. One theory is that the black hole's accretion disk, its swirling ring of gas and dust, has formed in a way that allows it to bypass the Eddington limit. This could mean a super Eddington accretion process where the material isn't just falling in, but being funneled into the black hole in an extremely efficient way. If that's the case, it might force us to rewrite the rules of black hole growth entirely. And if one black hole can break the laws of physics, who's to say there aren't more out there doing the same? Now, you might be wondering, how did such a gigantic black hole manage to go unnoticed for so long? The answer lies in its incredible brightness. You see, black holes themselves don't emit any light. They are so dense that even light itself cannot escape their gravitational pull. However, when they feed, they form something called a quasar, an extremely bright disk of swirling gas and dust that heats up as it falls into the black hole. The quasar surrounding J0594351 is the brightest object ever detected in the universe. It shines 500 trillion times brighter than the sun. For decades, scientists mistook it for just another distant quasar, unaware that at its heart was a black hole. It wasn't until researchers used advanced telescopes from the Siding Spring Observatory in Australia and the Very Large Telescope in Chile that they were able to finally detect what was truly inside. But there's something even more shocking. The accretion disk, or the swirling ring of gas and dust being pulled into the black hole, is unlike anything ever seen before. In most cases, an accretion disk might stretch for a few million miles across, but this one is an astonishing seven light years wide. That means the disk of material surrounding this black hole is larger than the entire distance between our sun and the nearest star, Proxima Centauri. Within this massive swirling storm of gas, temperatures soar to 10,000 degrees Celsius. Astronomers describe it as a gigantic magnetic storm cell with winds so powerful they could circle Earth in just one second. But here's where things get even stranger. Scientists never expected a black hole to grow this fast. Black holes don't just randomly suck in everything around them. The process is actually very slow and complicated. Matter has to gradually spiral inward before crossing the event horizon, the point of no return where nothing, not even light, can escape. But this black hole is breaking all the rules. So how did this one get so enormous? One possibility is that it might be a direct collapse black hole. 
Normally, black holes form when massive stars explode in violent supernovae and collapse under their own gravity. But direct collapse black holes may have formed differently, skipping the supernova phase altogether. Instead, they could have emerged directly from the collapse of gigantic gas clouds in the early universe. If this theory is correct, it could explain how some black holes became so massive so quickly. Another possibility is that this black hole merged with several other black holes over time. If this black hole was in the right place at the right time, it might have absorbed multiple smaller black holes, rapidly increasing its mass to what we see today. But what happens when black holes collide? When two black holes merge, they don't just become bigger. They send out an intense burst of gravitational waves, literally shaking the very fabric of space-time. These waves, first detected by LIGO in 2015, travel across the universe like ripples in a cosmic pond. If a black hole as massive as J0594351 were to merge with another supermassive black hole, the resulting explosion of energy would be so intense that it could outshine every star in its galaxy combined. Some scientists believe these collisions could also distort space-time so drastically that they might reveal unknown laws of physics. Could this black hole be more than just a black hole? Some researchers speculate that supermassive black holes might not just be destructive forces, they could also be gateways to other parts of the universe. In theoretical physics, there's something called a white hole, the opposite of a black hole, where energy and matter are expelled instead of consumed. Some even suggest that black holes could be wormholes, tunnels connecting distant parts of space or even other dimensions. While there's no direct evidence of this, the fact that black holes continue to defy expectations means we can't rule out the possibility just yet. This is why scientists are turning to new technology, like the James Webb Space Telescope, to search for more hidden black holes in the distant universe. More findings could completely change our understanding of how black holes shape galaxies and even the universe itself. Now, moving on to another crucial question. How do black holes affect the galaxies they live in? It turns out that supermassive black holes play a critical role in shaping their surroundings. When black holes feed, they don't just pull in gas, they also release massive amounts of energy back into space. This energy can heat up and push away surrounding gas, preventing new stars from forming. In some cases, black holes may even be responsible for stopping the growth of galaxies altogether. This process is known as quasar feedback, and scientists believe it could explain why some galaxies stop forming new stars. Essentially, as the black hole grows, it blasts out so much energy that it disrupts the delicate balance of gas in its home galaxy, making it harder for new stars to take shape. In the case of J0594351, its quasar is so powerful that it's likely shaping the evolution of its entire galaxy, possibly even preventing it from growing any larger. But what happens when a black hole gets too big? Is there a limit to how massive these objects can become? Recent studies suggest that there might be a natural size limit for black holes. Astronomers have estimated that the largest possible black hole could be around 50 billion times the mass of the Sun, but this number is still theoretical. What happens when a black hole reaches this limit? Scientists believe that at a certain size, a black hole's gravitational pull becomes so strong that it prevents new material from falling in, essentially putting the black hole on a permanent cosmic diet. But as we've seen with J0594351, black holes have a way of surprising us. And it's entirely possible that some have already surpassed these theoretical limits. And that raises an unsettling question. Are we safe from black holes? While supermassive black holes stay anchored at the centers of galaxies, not all black holes remain in one place. Rogue black holes which have been ejected from their home galaxies due to gravitational interactions, are freely roaming through space. Some of these black holes are traveling at millions of miles per hour, meaning they could pass through a star system undetected, potentially wreaking havoc. Scientists have identified potential rogue black holes in our own galaxy, but none are currently close enough to pose a threat. Still, the idea of a massive invisible force drifting through space is a chilling reminder of how unpredictable the cosmos can be.
the next step for scientists is to continue searching for more massive black holes using telescopes like the James Webb Space Telescope and future gravitational wave detectors. If we find more black holes that challenge our understanding of physics, we may have to rewrite the rulebook on how these objects form and evolve. The future of black hole research is more exciting than ever. Scientists are already working on the next generation of telescopes, such as the Extremely Large Telescope, ELT, which will have the ability to directly image black holes with unprecedented clarity. Additionally, advancements in gravitational wave detection will allow researchers to study black hole mergers in greater detail, revealing how these cosmic giants collide and grow. Some even speculate that in the future, we might be able to artificially generate tiny black holes in lab conditions, leading to breakthroughs in quantum gravity and space travel. Every discovery we make takes us one step closer to unlocking the true nature of black holes. Now, let's get a bit more personal. What would happen if you fell into a black hole like J0594351? The answer is not pretty. First, as you approach the event horizon, you would experience something known as spaghettification. The gravity pulling on your feet would be way stronger than the gravity pulling on your head, stretching you into a long, thin strand of atoms. From the perspective of an outside observer, it would look like you were slowing down as you got closer to the event horizon due to an effect called time dilation. In reality, you would be falling at full speed, but time itself would appear to stretch indefinitely. Once past the event horizon, nothing could pull you back out, not even light itself. You would continue falling toward the singularity, the central point where all known laws of physics break down. At this point, we have no idea what happens because our understanding of the universe simply stops working inside a black hole. Some scientists have theorized that black holes could be gateways to other parts of the universe or even portals to entirely different dimensions. Others believe that matter that falls into a black hole is lost forever, crushed down to an infinitesimally small point. No matter what happens, one thing is certain. Once you cross that event horizon, you are never coming back. So what does this all mean for the future of astronomy? The discovery of J0594351 proves that we are still in the early stages of understanding black holes. If we've found something this extreme, it means there could be even crazier discoveries waiting just beyond our reach. Will we find a black hole 100 billion times the mass of the sun? Could there be black holes hidden in plain sight, waiting to be uncovered? And if black holes like J0594351 do exist, what else is present in the dark corners of the universe? Let us know your thoughts in the comments. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.